Hello, my name is Lene Pereira. I'm 61 years old. I'm doing leather crafting. This is a uh, vanishing art that not many people are doing. So I think I'm one of the last ones doing this kind of work now. I'm learning this, uh, this kind of work many years ago when I was a younger guy, I used to live in New York. And I used to work in a factory that uh, they used to do in leather work. So I learned in there, but uh, one of the master craftsmen. Then I never do this kind of job again. Right now I'm doing this as a hobby. And uh, I enjoy it very much. Leather crafting is very interesting. And as I say, it's not many people doing this kind of craft now. I don't know nobody besides myself. And uh, it's enjoyable doing this. The time goes by and I'm doing my own creations and uh, I enjoy it very much. This little table that you see here, that's my working table. I made it myself. It's made it out of plywood, the legs. I made it of pine and uh, cost me about $40 to make it, including the screws. Most of the items that I'm doing, like those ones there, are hunting poaches. Uh, the hunters of the 18th century, they used to wear that on the field, to put in the bullets inside and uh, the rest of the things they use. These small poaches here, they are for flint and steel. This is the way Mountain men and Bushman used to make fire with flint and steel. There was no matches in that era and no lighters. So they keep in their flint and steel in small leather pouches like that. All those here, this, this four here, they are hunting pouches. This is a medicine pouch that you wear around your neck. You keep in your medicine there. These are leather cheats for hunting knife. All these are leather cheats that I made for hunting knife. And those are cheats for hand axes. Those leather, leather cheats that I make for, for the axes. Okay, that's a water canteen there. I made a cover for the leather canteen, so it keeps the water cool. Most of the leathers that I use are these kind of leathers. I use caut, chip, calf, and gold. Okay, this is machete. I made this cover for the machete. This is cow leather. Okay, okay from uh, all the different items that I make out of leather, one of my favorites is this hunting pouch here. It is used like this. Okay. The uh, 18th century hunters used to wear this every time they used to go hunting. Similar, very similar to this one. This one is larger, this one is a smaller one. And this one is a smaller one. Inside this pouch, they used to keep the flint and steel and the bullets every time they go hunting. I'm a hunter myself also. This is another creation that I make. My belts, I'm using these belts. Some of them are hunting belts, some of them are for exercise, and that's another part of my creation. These belts, I'm buying the leather already cut and in shape. All I'm doing is punching the holes, sewing some extra pieces, putting the rivets, it's an ornament, you know, punching all those holes and sewing an extra piece here. 
take me about a day to put the has to put the bottle, you know. Before sewing machines were invented, everything used to be sewn by hand. Shoes, purses, leather bags, stitch by stitch. Hand sewing is superior than machine sewing because the thread that the leather crafters using are much stronger than the thread using in the sewing machine. Leather crafting is using basic tools. No power tools are using in leather crafting, only hand tools. Okay, one of the most important tools is the stitching owl. You're using a stitching owl to punching holes through the leather. This is a very important tool. Another very important tool besides this one is the knife that you're using to cut through the skin and through the leather. Okay, it's another very important tool. Another very important tool is the needle because everything is sewn by hand. The thread the leather crafter is using. Okay. This tool is used to punching holes through the leather from a small one to bigger ones. Okay, this is called contact cement. This is used to put together two pieces of leather to bond them together. It's a very important item. Another important thing is the dyes that we use brown, black, whatever color you want. Okay. The scissors are for leather crafting, special to cutting leather, very thick leather. This is another tool that we use to cut leather. It's called a paring knife. These are punches, different sizes. So these are the basic tools leather crafters are using. And with all this, we do all these creations here. This tool here is a clamp. What it do is, is holding a piece so you can sew through it. Holding a piece of leather here between these two pieces of wood. The leather is holding a steady here as I go with the needle back and forth. It's used in some occasions, not all the occasions, but in some occasions we're using this. Leather crafting, it is not an expensive hobby. The tools are cheap. The pieces of leather that I buy, they are not too expensive. So, you, you can start with about 40 to 50 dollars, you can start this hobby. Other kind of hobbies, they are much expensive. You need a special tool, but not with this one, because you don't need any power tools. Most of the tools that we use here, those are hand tools, that they need to be born in special places, because you don't find this, this kind of tools that we're using in any place, but some places they sell them. I'm doing this as a hobby. At the many time, if I can make uh, some extra money, it will be welcome. And uh, I also like to encourage younger generations to keep on doing this kind of work. Because as I said before, when I'm leaving this world, I don't know who else is going to keep on doing this. Because there's very few people like me doing this kind of work.